Good morning and welcome to the webinar. Uh, my name is David Potes and I'm with Amazon Web Services and we've got a couple of great speakers for you today and what we're going to find out today is how Greenhouse Software um, uh, managed to unlock the power of their machine data analytics and they use Sumo Logic to do it on AWS. So interesting topic, pretty interesting speaker coming up. Welcome and let's, let's kick it off. So today's presenters, uh, me, I already called myself out. Uh, we've got another Dave, uh, Dave Anderson, um, Director of Security and IT at Greenhouse Software. And we have Kalyan, uh, who's the VP of Product Marketing at Sumo Logic. And we're here to tell you all about how Greenhouse did this. So we're gonna step through a, an overview um, uh, of AWS. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about security and um, a little bit about logging. Uh, and then we're going to step into Dave's presentation about how Greenhouse uh, achieved success with AWS and Sumo Logic. Um, and then uh, uh, Kayan's going to come on and talk specifically about some of the cool things you can do with Sumo Logic. And then we're going to save time for a question and answer or Q&A and a little bit of discussion. And I can answer the number one question we always get. Yes, you will get a copy of the recording and you'll also get a link to the slides um, after the webinar. So look forward to that. Uh, it's coming along nicely. So what do we want you to learn and walk away from this? Well, hopefully, um, you know, the, you'll, you'll understand the benefits of, you know, doing AWS hosted machine data analytics um, and ensure uh, how to ensure the data protection and your security in the AWS cloud and some best practices around leveraging machine learning analysis so that you can get uh, real-time insights into app application operations and security. And real-time is a big deal, and we'll get into that in a little bit. So let's talk security, um, one of my favorite topics. At AWS, security is job zero. Um, you know, it, it absolutely is our top priority. And we built our security program on many of the same tenants as you do. Our data centers are designed with the highest physical security requirements in mind. And access to those data centers is restricted to a very small number of individuals. I can tell you that I, for example, have zero access to any physical facility. And we lock down our networks and systems and we have really well-defined processes and people controls to make sure that we operate both in an efficient and a secure manner in our data centers. And you know, our security measures have been driven by security experts from across our largest, most advanced customers. Um, great examples include Shell, uh, NASDAQ, uh, GE, um, and they've been validated by a wide range of security experts and accreditation bodies. And these organizations with the, the highest security standards, they really set the bar for AWS security. But the great thing, and I, which I think is really cool, is that everybody gets to benefit from these controls that we have put in place. So whether you're a small startup, a mid-sized enterprise, or some of the largest companies in the world, you get to take advantage of the security controls that we put in place to satisfy everyone. So when we talk about security at AWS, um, we have what we call the shared security model. And uh, basically what that means is that at AWS, we're gonna take care of security of the cloud. So uh, we manage the physical security, uh, we provide availability zones and regions to protect against things like weather and floods and, and all, all those quote unquote acts of God. Um, and we manage the foundation services, you know, the, the holy trinity of compute, storage, and networking, as well as database security. And then kind of above that dotted line, you as the customer get to define the controls in your cloud. So how do you want to manage data encryption? How do you do um, identity and access control? How do you provide additional network security? That's really your call, and you have the ability to tune that to your needs. And, you know, don't take it from me, um, you know, we've got a, a ton of certifications and assurance programs um, for everything from, you know, the ISO certifications to uh, uh, U.S. federal government's uh, assurance, uh, as well as um, HIPAA, um, FIPS, um, the, even the MPAA trusts us with data. And just recently, um, the, we announced that 
um, our spring 2017 SOC assessment was completed with no audit findings, which is really hard to do and uh, definitely a testament to all of the hard work that you know the people that work on this have done. So what does this mean? Um, so uh, you, get in, you get the benefits of an environment built for the most security sensitive organizations and no matter who you are, you get that. Um, we manage over 1,800 security controls so you don't have to. And like I said, you get to define the right controls for your workload and um, you always have full ownership and control of your data. And you know, I just want to uh, underline this and double click on it. Um, you own your data. That it is yours to choose how you control it and we don't access that data. So um, it, it really is up to you. Now on top of this, you know, when we look at kind of the customer applications and content, um, between AWS and our partners, we have over 700 security services, tools, and features. And performing audits is a time-consuming and expensive affair. We validate our environment against all of these controls, and if you're a customer and you're under NDA, uh, you can actually get access to our SOC 2 report. Um, and as we said, you, know, you get to def the flexibility to define what are the right set of controls for your workload. You may have more sensitive workloads that demand more stringent controls, and maybe you know you have a test set up with um, uh, with dummy data, so maybe you need a little less security. It's really up to you uh, how you set that dial. And the cool part is that you can you can use the controls that you deploy um, within your on-premise environments um, in the same way that you would in AWS. So I'd like to talk about monitoring a little bit because it's different in the cloud. Um, one of the big things is that uh, we say that resources are elastic and ephemeral. That means things can, can appear and go away sometimes in minutes. And this is a challenge for kind of traditional uh, monitoring systems. Um, you can also couple infrastructure to events. So when we think about things like auto scaling, you know, based on a CPU event, my CPU is overloaded, spin up some more servers. and um, we can actually do things based on events, whether that's for availability, um, for, uh, you know, kind of customer demand, or in relation to security events. And one of the biggest things is that everything is metered. So um, that gives you the ability to track cost in a way that uh, you may find challenging in traditional on-premises environments. But frankly, you know, we track all the costs because we need to charge people for usage. And we can track every change, and we can track every access. So no more servers hiding in the corner. Everything is tracked. And I think that's a, that's a huge feature and definitely a differentiator about cloud. So one of the first things that I always recommend is, you know, how do you get visibility? People ask me, how do you get visibility of what's going on in AWS? And the key to this is logs. Um, near, nearly every service that we run, uh, produces detailed logs, and um, there's a couple of services I want to highlight. Um, one of my personal favorites is CloudTrail. Um, so CloudTrail will record access to all of your API calls, um, including console activities, command line instructions. It logs who did what, when, and from where. And this means that you have full visibility into accesses, changes, or activities within your AWS environment. And um, there's a ton of services that uh, feed into CloudTrail, and it makes it easy to aggregate all of this log information. Um, but what I can tell you is that it's not fun to read. Um, you know, it, it, it wasn't really uh, designed for kind of scrolling through and having humans necessarily look at it. And that's why I, I recommend tools such as Sumo Logic that allows you to do the log analysis and find you know, those needle and haystack events as well as um, corroborate you know, kind of long-term uh, analysis. And um, Sumo works out of the box with AWS. It, the, there's a ton of great integrations and we'll get into that um, later on in the webinar, um, but it, it's, it's super easy to use. Some tips on getting the most out of logging, and I'm gonna apologize in advance because the, the check marks don't quite line up, um, but uh, first of all, anything with an audit or an access log, turn it on. You know, you, you can't find what you, what you don't log, and not all of these services are necessarily 
on by default. Um, and then what you can what, what you need to do is make sure that your logs cannot be tampered with. And when I say that, I, you know, essentially what you can do with a lot of the log services is create MP5 hashes so that you know that the log hasn't been modified. And then you also need to make sure that you set your security controls so that um, the people that could potentially write to these logs are extremely limited. Uh, most people, at most, would need read access. And log lifecycle policies are really key. So, you know, what we need to do is uh, move the old logs into cheaper, longer-term storage um, so that we can continue to access them, uh, but we want to, you know, move them into something such as S3 or a logging system so that um, we're not necessarily having to invest a lot of money to keep logs around long term. And one thing that people miss uh, often and I think is really key is actual meaningful naming to your logs. So if you, if you can tag things, um, you're going to get uh, a lot richer information in your logs and um, you, know, you can tag against department or project code or division or anything that you can come up with. But the more data that you enrich these logs with, the easier it will be to identify and act on things that are of concern. And the last one is do something with them, right? You know, it's not enough just to collect logs. You actually have to drive insight to these logs. And without that insight, uh, you don't have the ability to take action on performance issues, security issues, and anything else that might come up in your infrastructure. AWS has is is got a great partnership with Sumo Logic, and Sumo runs 100% on AWS. So it's a, a cloud hosted machine data analytics service, and you can pull in insights from logs, from metrics, event data across your entire application lifecycle, across your stack, and it really gives you the ability to build, run, and secure modern applications. And it, the, it, as I stated before, uh, a modern application in the cloud um, has some differences than kind of the older approach. And you can actually pick up Sumo Logic on the AWS Marketplace. Um, so we have a tool called SaaS Contracts that allows you to, that makes it super easy to find, buy, and start using the software with just a single click. So I'm gonna hand it over to Dave now, and um, he's gonna kind of go into how Greenhouse Software did it. And this is really, you know, some some interesting detail on how they approach the problems of uh, securing and managing their application in the cloud. So, Dave, take it away. Hi, everyone. I'm Dave Anderson. I'm the director of security and IT here at Greenhouse Software. Um, I've been with Greenhouse for two and a half years, and originally started on our infrastructure uh, engineering team. Um, I've also been a Sumo Logic customer for many years at several different companies. And a little background on Greenhouse. Greenhouse is an applicant tracking system and recruiting optimization platform uh, designed to optimize your entire recruiting process, find better candidates, conduct more focused and structured interviews, and make data-driven hiring decisions. Like many startups, when Greenhouse started, we chose to host the application on Heroku. As the application and features grew, there were components that were just not able to be supported on Heroku at the time. Our next step was to host some of these components in a VPC at AWS that we managed ourselves. We lived with that environment for a while, but we were running up against limitations around security and cost inherent to Heroku's platform at the time. Since Heroku's platform was based on the concept of containers already, and Docker was growing in popularity, we decided to build out a secure multi-tier containerized environment on AWS. Our infrastructure is built on top of EC2, utilizing many of the built-in AWS tools like ELBs, auto-scaling, and RDS. In the end, we were able to create a secure, highly available multi-tier VPC which not only provided us with better security, availability, and scalability, but also greatly reduced costs. Docker and other containerization technologies present an interesting challenge in managing where your containers run, as well as deploying new code. To solve this challenge, you typically need to implement some sort of container management and orchestration platform. Today, AWS has the EC2 container service, which solves this problem without having to build out something like Apache Mesos or Kubernetes. Since ECS did not exist at the time, we uh, chose to, to implement Apache Mesos and Marathon since they were most, the most mature solution available. We're currently in the process of actually moving to Kubernetes, the open source project from Google, since it better fits with our workflow. One of the challenges you have with an agile dynamic infrastructure is keeping tabs on all the data being produced. 
Applications and systems produce gigabytes of data and log files. AWS infrastructure produces logs from your ELDs, as well as security auditing data from CloudTrail and VPC flow logs. Collecting and processing the log data is critical to successfully managing your application. Bugs and data issues are inevitable, and having your log data in a centralized and easily searchable format is incredibly helpful. Prior to Sumo Logic, our log data was spread across several systems. We had an in-house developed solution that was adequate for a couple of use cases, but we were quickly outgrowing it. The log files were still in a format where we had to do greps and get creative with how we extracted and correlated the data from the log files. One of the major issues you run into when you're using traditional log files on a Unix or Linux system, your engineers who are looking at the log data need to understand how to use the different command line tools, such as grep and sort and, and so on, as well as have a good, a good grasp on regular expressions to be able to extract certain part, parts of the data. Even with the best command line skills, the data is still harder to sift through just by the limitation of these tools. Drilling down or getting contextual information can be extremely difficult and slow, since you often have to run the tools over the same log data multiple times to extract out each piece of information. Reporting and visualization of the data is also a challenge, as you often have to massage the data into a format that another tool, oftentimes Excel, uh, can understand. When I was tasked to replace our existing system, we needed something that could seamlessly grow with us as well as get up and running quickly. It was important that any solution we chose to be able to work with our existing hybrid and Heroku and AWS setup, as well as be able to seamlessly transition as we move completely to AWS. In addition, security was a major concern as well, which I'll speak to, uh, speak to in a moment. My path to bringing Sumo Logic to Greenhouse is somewhat unique. My first exposure to Sumo was while I was working at a, as a systems engineer for another SaaS startup six years ago. We had a lot of the same challenges that Greenhouse does as far as the proliferation of log data. Unlike Greenhouse, we were actually in a more traditional co-located data center environment, so collection and management of the log data was not as much of a challenge, but we still had the same search, reporting, and visualization issues. We were exploring solutions to better handle our log data, and everything we saw on the market at the time was beyond our budget and would also require us to purchase and manage more hardware in both our primary and disaster recovery sites. We thankfully became acquainted with Sumo Logic through a venture capital event and quickly became Sumo Logic's first paying customer. Greenhouse, having been born on the cloud, made Sumo Logic a natural choice to replace the current system we had. Sumo Logic already had support for getting log data from Heroku and AWS, which made getting started a breeze. With Sumo Logic being a managed cloud-based solution, we never have to worry about managing and scaling our infrastructure to handle both our volume of log data as well as our access to that data. Security is a huge deal at Greenhouse, since we handle a great deal of personally identifiable information and hiring data that our customers want to keep confidential. We have to take great care in any of the third-party systems we utilize since some of this information can end up in our log files. The security of the Sumo Logic platform was a huge consideration when we decided to start using it, and having third-party attestations of Sumo Logic security controls helped make our key stakeholders comfortable with the Sumo Logic platform. Next, I'll go over some of the key use cases of Sumo Logic here at Greenhouse and some of the performance and security metrics we monitor. Our log data allows us to create many different graphs and dashboards, as well as generate alerts when, when certain conditions exist. Our platform is under constant development, and we do several deploys a day. Even with our manual and automated testing, sometimes performance-related bugs slip through. While we use New Relic for up-to-the-minute, directly instrumented performance management, sometimes there are wider trends that make more sense to use log data to observe. There are also failovers of clustered server components that are most easily alerted to us through saved searches. Most of the time, these are simply informational messages, so we're aware that something happened, but it also helps us quickly jump in to troubleshoot if something looks off. Using Sumo Logic's machine learning functionality lets us identify performance quick, outliers quickly so we can quickly drill into performance issues. Using log compare and log reduce, we're able to se uh, separate similar repetitive events so that we can focus on what is truly relevant. We're able to save a lot of time by not having to sift through page after page of irrelevant log data, which in turn greatly reduces our time to resolution. We track a lot of security related metrics, both in our logs as well as from AWS CloudTrail which gives us the ability to send off alerts for unusual or known bad activity. For example, we have a back-end application that, that is used to administer the greenhouse application, and we alert when we see logins from unusual places. To date, these have just been employees working while traveling, but all warrant verification to be able to quickly respond to a compromised account. 
We also want to keep track of changes to things like security groups and policy violations so that we're ensuring that our security posture doesn't degrade over time. Controlling access to sensitive customer data is extremely important to us. We're using uh, Sumo Logic to track various metrics that matter to us around the activity of our customer success team, as well as logins to sensitive applications from unusual places. VPC flow logs give you insight into the traffic in and out of your VPC. Using flow logs, you can identify hot resources, network layer attacks, as well as instances or applications that may be behaving badly. And this is a good example of the, uh, one of the nice visualizations that, that Sumo Logic has for being able to uh, observe your VPC flow logs and see where, where the activity is coming from, be able to drill down in what instances are producing which traffic and what, where traffic is, is coming from. So you can actually see like live attack traffic, for, for example, if you're, if you're being attacked like through a there's like denial of service attack or, or whatnot. Learning the basics of searching for data in Sumo is pretty easy, and there's a good amount of documentation as well as resources from the community. Over time, our engineers have created several safe searches and dashboards, which enable us to get at relevant data faster than we ever could with manual solutions. We also have implemented alerts for suspicious behavior, like I mentioned before, and as well as unusual AWS usage as reported through the CloudTrail, and even logins to Sumo Logic itself. So if we actually have someone logging into Sumo Logic that, that doesn't match a normal, uh, normal behavior, we actually get alerted to that. We also have self-healing automation in place to restart individual services if they get in, into a known bad state, which prevents our customers from ever noticing an issue and lets us be able to meet our SLAs. Some of the things we're working on next are adding a lot more around security automation. Uh, we have to secure other security tools that monitor various bits of the system as well as other AWS activity. Given the abilities of Sumo Logic to provide dashboards, alerts, and event correlation, we're envisioning that we can aggregate alerts and other interesting data into Sumo Logic dashboards by pulling the data from our other security tools. Aggregating the data from all these separate tools would bring us closer to that elusive single pane of glass that is often overpromised yet un under delivers uh, from, from many security vendors. It may seem like a good idea sometimes to build your own in-house solution to solve your direct problem, but unfortunately you end up stuck supporting that solution in the long term and having to scale the solution as well as, as, well as extend the, its capabilities. So instead of continuing to maintain our in-house system, we chose to adopt Sumo Logic since they already have solved a lot of the problems related to log management. It would not have additional infrastructure and applications to manage. And on to call uh, Who exactly is Sumo Logic? Uh, we are a cloud-native machine data analytics platform. And what we do is to help our customers manage the security and operations of their mission critical application. Um, machine data typically includes logs, metrics, and events, and uh, they're generated by your application when it's running. And uh, Sumo Logic knows how to collect this data, get insights from this data, and provide that value to, to end customers. So uh, a little bit about the company before I talk about uh, you know, what we do in greater detail. Uh, we are a seven-year-old company. Uh, and we have over 1,200 customers under management today. Uh, you know, some great companies like Greenhouse, Twitter, Airbnb, uh, you know, Salesforce, Pinterest, et cetera. Uh, if there's a commonality across many of these customers, it's that uh, many of these folks are either uh, on the cloud journey or they are born in the cloud, just like Greenhouse. Um, we also are a big data company ourselves. Uh, we in just hundreds of petabytes of data a day. We process uh, you know, uh, hundreds of petabytes of data a day, so we know what it means to run a mission-critical application within, within AWS. And we have lots of insights in terms of how to do this uh, exceptionally well. Uh, the company is still privately funded, and uh, we are funded by some great uh, VCs, um, and so we are very thrilled about that. Uh, you know a, a little bit about uh, you know the the problem that we that we solve here, right? So you know we work with companies like Greenhouse, and as they mentioned, uh, you know what they do is to build modern apps on modern infrastructures and 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 clouds like AWS. So these apps are built on uh, you know the next generation services and infrastructure. These apps are changing a lot. These apps are also built with microservices like technologies. And what that means is that these, app, these apps are also very complex. So how do you manage the performance and security and operations of such complex apps? Uh, you do that uh, by using you know, solutions like Sumo Logic, uh, which is essentially a unified machine data analytics platform. And uh, what this platform provides is first and foremost the ability to 
collect and analyze data uh, of, um, of any kind that comes from these applications. So may they be logs, metrics, or events. We know how to collect it. We know how to ingest it into our platform. Uh, but ingesting it is just uh, one part of the equation. What you also need to do now is to get uh, identify problems in your application uh, proactively and then be able to get to the root cause of the problem. And that's where machine learning comes in. Uh, so as Dave mentioned, Sumo Logic has lots of machine data, machine learning uh, algorithms uh, that are natively built into the solution that allows you to very quickly identify problems in your application and then get to the, the needle in the haystack, which is the, the root cause of the problem. Uh, Sumo Logic has lots of capabilities around uh, machine learning, and um, you know we can talk. Uh, we'll talk to that some of that uh, you know in the next few slides here. Um, lastly, uh, machine data by definition is extremely voluminous, it's extremely dynamic, uh, so what we have is a very scalable and elastic platform. Uh, we leverage the power of AWS uh, to, to, to scale our systems to our customers' need. Um, we also leverage the elasticity of AWS to make sure that we can ha handle any dynamic load uh, in terms of machine data that may be um, you know, generated by our customers. The value to you um, as an end customer is that uh, we provide you, you know, real-time visibility into your application. Uh, you know, whether your application is a simple application or whether it's a complex application with, you know, infrastructures and services and pass layers, etc. Uh, Sumo Logic provides you complete visibility into that application, as well as the machine data that is being generated from these applications. Uh, leveraging the machine data, now you can track the end-to-end -end performance and security of your application. Uh, you know, who is accessing my application? Where are they accessing it from? Are they legit or are they a, a, a not so, um, you know, a legit user of my application? You know, we can instantly identify and we can proactively alert you about uh, these kinds of abnormalities. And then when you have to get down to the root cause of the problem, uh, we give you lots of machine learning capabilities to, to quickly identify the needle in a haystack and uh, you know, fix issues or block uh, you know, the unsavory uh, users of your applications itself. So how does Sumo Logic work? Uh, so as Dave mentioned, uh, you know, we are a SaaS service. We run on AWS, so we provide all the value of a SaaS service. Uh, all you have to do is get your data into Sumo Logic, and then magic starts to happen from that point on. Uh, the way you get your data into Sumo Logic is through either a locally hosted collector. So we have a Windows uh, collector or a Linux collector, uh, and uh, you know we can essentially you you essentially uh, you know install these collectors on your machines, and uh, we know how to get the data from your machines and post it to the Sumo Logic service. Uh, you can also use a cloud collector, uh, or if you're running on AWS, uh, you know you can provide us with your CloudWatch credentials, and we can automatically, you know, slurp all the CloudWatch data into Sumo Logic. Uh, once the data into, is into Sumo Logic, uh, you know we help you monitor it, so you can set up alerts and thresholds, and whenever uh, you know a certain um, metric, uh, you know, crosses that threshold, we'll instantly alert you uh, about uh, about an abnormal uh, abnormality. Uh, we can also help you troubleshoot and analyze uh, this data using our machine learning algorithms. And then finally, uh, you know, you can you can trend your your data. You can trend your KPIs. You can correlate your KPIs to your to your application metrics or your business metrics, so that you know you can start to optimize the performance uh, as well as the security of your applications itself. Now. What applications and services does Sumo Logic, uh, you know, support out of the box? Uh, Sumo Logic supports over 50 applications and uh, infrastructure as well as cloud services out of the box. Uh, if you are running on AWS, uh, you are, you have, uh, you know, all the luck in the world. Sumo Logic supports uh, just about every commonly used AWS services natively. Uh, we have a concept. Uh, we have what we call as, as an app, and these apps um, essentially provide uh, many out-of-the-box functionalities. These apps know how to ingest data, they know how to uh, interpret the data, they know how to dashboard the data, and then we also provide lots of um, out-of-the-box analytics uh, within the apps itself. So if you're using, let's say, a VPC flow log, or CloudFront, or S3, or for that matter, even AWS Lambda, you know, we have out-of-the-box apps that know how to handle machine data from many of these AWS services. Uh, 
Uh, we've also done an integration recently to a third-party threat intelligence provider. So now you can not only look at, uh, let's say, who is accessing your app from CloudTrail, but we can even give a threat intelligence score to that to that access. Uh, so now you have the visibility and the correlation that really helps you manage the performance of your application uh, you know, way better than, than you could ever do before. So the service itself, as it was mentioned before, is a, it's a SaaS service. It runs in the cloud, runs in AWS. So it provides all the value that you might expect from a SaaS service. It's instant on, it's very easy to uh, you know, sign up for the service, very easy to onboard into the Sumo Logic service. You also don't have to deal with any of the management overhead. Uh, you know, as Dave mentioned, you know, he didn't want to manage, you know, servers and infrastructures at Greenhouse. And that's the value that we provide to many of our customers, right? We configure the service, we run the service, we optimize the service, we scale it up for you. So you as an end customer focus on what you do best, which is delivering great, uh, you know, services to your customers. You don't have to manage the the management system and the analytics service. And you know, and that's that's a big value that many of our customers find with the Sumo Logic service. The the instant on, the the zero nightmare and overhead that they have to deal with in terms of uh, you know managing their, their analytics offering itself. Now obviously if you need to use an analytics service in the cloud and if you have PCI information or, or any of the proprietary information within your logs or your or your machine data uh, or your machine data itself, uh, you need a you need a fully secure service, and uh, that's where Sumo Logic excels. Uh, we have the best in class uh, security certifications that comes with our service. We are PCI compliant, we are HIPAA compliant. Uh, we do complete encryption of all of your data, may that be uh, you know at rest or for that matter in transit, and uh, that's why you know. Customers like Greenhouse and customer, you know, financial financial customers like Ameriprise and PNC Bank, etc., have decided to go with the Sumo Logic service. Uh, it gives them a peace of mind that their data uh, within the Sumo Logic service is extremely uh, secure, and that they have all the security certification to to to, to back up these claims. So again, I, I want to end with a why should you go with Sumo Logic or why should you consider a service like Sumo Logic? Um, you know, it goes without saying that uh, you know we provide you the entire uh, capabilities across your machine data um, across your machine data analytics uh, space today. Uh, you know, whether you have logs, whether you have metrics, whether you have events, Sumo Logic you know natively ingests and manages all of this data. Uh, we provide complete application visibility through our out-of-the-box applications. Uh, it provides Sumo Logic provides you the ability to very quickly onboard uh, your application, uh, you know, wherever it's running, uh, whatever services it uses today. Uh, we have machine learning that helps you, uh, you know, get to the root cause of your problems very quickly. Uh, you know, by definition, machine data is extremely voluminous, and you know, you don't want to be dealing with reams and reams of logs or metrics, uh, you know, when you are you know, in the throes of troubleshooting a problem. And our machine data algorithms help you get to that root cause of the problem very quickly. And then finally, uh, we have a very scalable service. Uh, we leverage the power of AWS. Uh, no one knows scale like AWS, and uh, we've been able to leverage the, the, the elasticity and the scale of AWS and, and you know, apply it to the cloud, uh, to the machine data analytics space and bring that to our customers. The solution itself, um, you know, is, is available uh, uh, in you know in in, in multiple uh, choices. Uh, you can buy it on AWS Marketplace. So if you're a customer who already has a ongoing relationship with AWS and you want to adopt a solution through the marketplace, it's it's absolutely available there. Uh, if you choose to buy it from Sumo Logic, you can come to sumologic.com and you can definitely buy the the solution from 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 Sumo Logic. Um, and as uh, David mentioned at the top of the uh, webinar, you know we also have we are also part of the AWS SaaS contract. So if someone is looking for a long-term, um, you know, commitment with Sumo Logic, uh, you know, we definitely have an option to also support the 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 contract option within within AWS. So with that said, uh, let me turn it over to David Potts to take us through the Q and A session. Thanks, Kalyan. Uh, that, that was uh, really interesting. Uh, we did have a couple of questions come up. Um, so, I, 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 and honestly, Q and A is my favorite part. So, um, let's dive into the details. So, uh, question for Dave from Greenhouse: 
Um, uh, how long did it take you to get Sumo Logic up and running? So when we originally brought Sumo Logic in, um, we were running mostly on Heroku, and Sumo Logic had a native uh, configuration for Heroku's. Uh, they call it the Log Sync, uh, where you actually unplug um, Heroku's logging uh, platform directly into Sumo Logic. Um, that literally took minutes to set up. Uh, it was a a uh, matter of uh, generating the right uh, the right URL with uh, within the Heroku console and um, basically plugging that into the uh, to the Sumo Logic console, um, and then all of our services that we had on Linux systems at AWS, um, all you have to do there is just install the um, the actual the collector, uh, and it, the collector is like available in a, a few different forms. Um, the first that we ch chose was the, just installing the, uh, the actual collector agent itself. Um, now, nowadays, we're actually using the Sumo Logic Docker container, um, which uh, simplifies the deployment even more. Uh, you literally, you just in any system that's, uh, that you're running your own Docker containers on, um, you literally just fire up the Docker container, point your application to um, push its logs to that, and it just basically just works. That's cool. That uh, sounds super easy. Um, so, uh, so Kalyan, question for you: um, uh, What sort of out of the box dashboards does Sumo provide? I know we saw some of that, but maybe you could talk to um, uh, you know what's cool or what's interesting. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we provide out of the box content for many of the commonly uh, you know used infrastructure or services, or for that matter, applications out there. Uh, you know, Dave, uh, Dave just mentioned our. Our, our Docker, uh, uh, you know, app and our Docker app again, um, you know, knows to collect data from our Docker instrumented, uh, uh, you know, machine data, bring it into our our dashboards, and uh, allows you to chart and uh, visualize and also analyze that data. Um, you know, we support uh, many commonly uh, used applications like Nginx or Apache or for that matter, SQL Server, you know, MongoDB as, as databases. Uh, we support, uh, you know, many of the common um, operating systems. Uh, we also support uh, AWS, as you saw in, uh, you know, in, in great detail in that slide there. Uh, we also support, uh, also support uh, Azure. Uh, Azure comes up uh, occasionally in our customer uh, discussions and, uh, uh, you know, we can collect data from Azure services and bring that into the Sumo Logic uh, uh, instance which which happens to run on AWS so it, it's also very easy for our customers to create their own apps uh, you know we have a very lively community where our customers are creating apps uh, and they're creating analytics around uh, the, the, the data that they bring into Sumo Logic and uh, you know they give back to their community itself so you know there are multiple options to create these um, these out of the box dashboards and applications, and uh, if you see a infrastructure or a service that Sumo Logic doesn't support today out of the box, uh, you know, let us know, and uh, we can we can definitely make that happen. Sweet, that sounds pretty cool. Um, so, question from the, the audience um, to Dave: uh, Did you guys consider you know building kind of your own Elk stack on AWS, and and uh, if if so, like why wasn't that sufficient? Yeah, we actually we did consider that. Um, what we kind of figured out with uh, building our own Elk stack is that's more infrastructure to manage. Even though it's running on AWS and, and whatnot, you have to you have to manage and scale the Elasticsearch uh, the Elasticsearch clusters. Uh, you have to manage the um, the integration within with Logstash to from from your your all your instances and your applications. Um, you also um, Kibana uh, on t like is just not as capable as as Sumo Logic from from a uh, search and visualization perspective. Um, so just really like while it's um, some may consider it to be a cheaper solution, um, it's ultimately not because when you consider all the time and effort that you actually have to put into it and the the less the the it, Less value that it's uh, it's actually capable of providing you. Um, Sumo Logic is is far and above a much better a much better solution. Cool, that's cool. I, and I, I can just add, you know, from from a previous life, you know, the one of the cool things about Sumo Logic is like near infinite scale, right? You know, so um, we didn't have to roll out, you know, a, additional, you know, Elastic Search clusters or whatever. Like it just it just scaled, which I thought was really really cool. 
Um, so question for Kalyan. Um, uh, so uh, I'm super interested in the, the machine learning um, aspects of it, and I'm wondering if you could um, uh, give us like, a, the, like an interesting concrete example of how that applies to like real world problems. Uh, absolutely, and um, yeah, I think Dave mentioned uh, our machine learning capabilities briefly as he was showing some of the uh, screenshots within Sumo Logic. But but let me give you uh, some more concrete example. So so Sumo Logic has many machine learning capabilities to not only identify problems, uh, you know, proactively alert you about problems, but also uh, you know reactively troubleshoot the problems. So. Um, as many of you know, um, and I'm sure many there are many practitioners on this call today. Uh, logs are by definition very chatty and very voluminous. Uh, you know, within a span a span of even five minutes, you know, you may get you know tens of thousands of logs that may run into reams and reams of pages. Um, trying to identify the needle in a haystack when you're looking at you know this quantity of of logs is extremely hard. So what many of our customers do is to use one of our machine learning capabilities called log reduce. And, and what log reduce fundamentally does is to very quickly um, identify the patterns in, 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 the, you know, in the entire volume of logs. So rather than looking at, let's say, tens of thousands of logs now, uh, you know, we quickly provide you a, you know, a set of, let's say, 15 or 20 patterns that we may have seen across those entire sets of logs, which then allows you to, to get down to perhaps one or two of those patterns that, that you may want to troubleshoot and look into, into further detail to get to the root cause of the problem. So log reduce helps you get to those patterns that allows you to very quickly now identify the needle in a haystack. Now, one other example uh, that we of, of machine learning in our solution is what we call as log compare. So take log reduce a step further, and what you can now do is to start to compare patterns across, let's say, different environments. So if you are a customer who is perhaps looking to now migrate to the cloud, right, uh, what you can perhaps do is look at patterns of logs that you may get in your, let's say, on-prem environment, which is where your application is running today, and then look at patterns of uh, logs that you get from your from your cloud hosted environment. Now you can compare these patterns and then see if there is some abnormal abnormality that you see uh, across these two you know sets of patterns and and do the right thing in terms of uh, you know fixing your application. So so again using log reduce and log compare, our customers are able to very quickly identify you know things that are happening in their application and uh, not get drowned uh, you know within the 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 volume and the and the size of the logs itself great thank you for that answer um, so question for dave that came up like who uses uh, sumo logic at greenhouse like what teams yeah so basically i, I would say probably our entire engineering team is uh, our active users of uh, sumo logic uh, we have our uh, production support team um, they're the ones that are kind of the frontline support people that uh, are handling all, all the requests from um, that is getting escalated from our customer success team um, when customers have issues. Uh, so they're, they're, they spend a, probably the most amount of time within, within Sumo Logic uh, digging through the log files, uh, using tools like um, Log Compare and Log Reduce to uh, isolate like what happened between be, between this release and that release that that changed. Like what are, what are some of the um, some of the key uh, differences in log activity, uh, which at that at that point like really helps point, pinpoint what the problem might be. All, and the other engineers, um, like when they're releasing uh, new features and stuff like that, will they have like uh, various dashboards and stuff like that that they look at. Um, the security team, um, as I mentioned in some of the slides, um, it has started using it for uh, for anomaly detection and to kind of pinpoint like bad, known bad activity and to look for certain trends and, and whatnot to, um, to be able to pinpoint things that we might want to look at from a security perspective. Cool. Sounds like just about everybody. And I know you wear a couple of hats, so uh, 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 yeah. you're probably kind of deeply involved in that. Um, so question for Kalyan. Um, this came up in Q&A. Uh, are there any, uh, like, uh, technology lock-in issues? Like, say that, you know, I mean, it's hard to imagine, but say that a customer um, uh, chooses to move away from Sumo Logic at some point in the future. Like, are they locked in? Is their data locked? Uh, it's a great question. Uh, David, and you know, we sort of follow the AWS philosophy when it comes to data, right? Your data is your data. And uh, 
you have complete control and access to that data. So um, we've never had issues where a customer has uh, terminated a Sumo Logic contract. Um, uh, but but when even when those things happen, and if the customer wants to take their log data and uh, perhaps bring it on prem um, or or do something else with it, uh, you have full access to that data. Absolutely. All right, cool. Customers own their data. That's like, I, I think I have that tattooed on my forearm. Uh, so um, I had a question from the crowd um, uh, around, you know, do you know if anybody that's using Sumo Logic to instrument uh, like a high performance computing setup? Yes, um, we definitely do. I mean, you know, many of our customers, as you can imagine, um, you know, I rattled out a few names at the the early part of my presentation, you know, folks like Airbnb and Twitter and uh, Ameriprise, etc. I mean, uh, they are they are definitely customers who have, you know, they have huge volumes of machine data. They also have very real time needs, uh, you know, in terms of machine data analytics itself. Uh, you know, any financial customer of ours obviously, you know, needs to um, needs to not only ingest the data but also analyze the data in uh, in you know second or even sub second latency for that matter and uh, we have had no issues in terms of supporting customers of um, of this kind now you know to the to the person who's asking the question if there is a very specific uh, you know infrastructure or service that you would uh, want us to support uh, you know give us a shout uh, we are more than happy to 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 address that 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 specific uh, issue or concern Great, thanks for that, Kalyan. Um, so another question from the audience. Um, you know, there was a slide that that talked about you know machine learning driving a faster MTTI and MTTR. Um, in, in the the questioner, you know, was is curious, kind of on a high level, um, like how does Sumo actually drive that? Like like how can I fix things faster uh, once I've implemented Sumo? Yeah, I think the, the, the key thing to note is that uh, what Sumo Logic provides you is the ability to, to, to understand the root cause of the problem. Uh, so by getting to the, um, you know, by, by identifying the needle in a haystack, by knowing that, you know, a particular errant user, uh, you know, uh, is perhaps accessing my service, or by knowing that a, that a Docker container uh, configuration change perhaps cost the a, a performance issue in the application itself. You know, we provide our uh, our our user personas, whether they be a SecOps team or a DevOps team, with the knowledge uh, that they can then use to to fix the problem. Now, uh, we also have integrations to very many uh, you know change management systems, uh, operational systems, uh, ticketing systems, and for that matter, even uh, um, you know, solutions like AWS Lambda, for that matter, through our through our webhook integration, uh, which can then be uh, you know launched or executed to to go in and to make the right change within the within the environment. Now, that 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 actual action uh, obviously is uh, very dependent on the customer and uh, the kinds of automated systems that they are uh, willing to work with, but. Uh, but I would contend that you know getting to the root cause is most more, in most environments you know ninety percent of the problem. Making the fix um, is is a very easy thing once you know the root cause of the problem itself, and that's how we essentially reduce the MTTI and MTTR for many of our customers. That's awesome. Yeah, I'd like to say sometimes that uh, ninety percent of the problem is half the battle. So uh, one more question from Q and A, uh, and we're running a little bit short on time, so. Uh, if you do have uh, any final questions, I probably have room for one more on this. Um, so uh, uh, we had a question about alert notifications. Um, the person is asking, you know, they usually take uh, one to two minutes to arrive, uh, and they're wondering why that can't be in real time. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I have my own answer, but I'm going to field this over to you, Kalyan. Yeah, I, I don't know the specific um, issue that this uh, that this audience member is asking about. Uh, but uh, Look, Sumo Logic has uh, integrations to PagerDuty, to ServiceNow, to VictorOps, and you know, to to many of the common alerting technologies out there. And uh, you know, our, our our goal definitely is to make sure that these alerts are uh, not just generated, but they're also delivered in real time to to our customers. So, if there are if the customer is having some specific issues, uh, please reach out to Sumo Logic uh, support, and uh, we can definitely address that. But uh, but you know, our goal in terms of um, you know 
ingesting this data, providing insights to, da to this data, you know, starts out by making sure that our customers are instantly notified about issues, uh, you know, within their application. Okay, great, awesome. And um, I, I have one final question for you, and this one's another one for uh, Kalyan. Um, uh, what if I wanted to get started with Sumo Logic for free? Is that possible? Is there like any notion of a trial? Absolutely. Um, so both at the AWS Marketplace as well as uh, at SumoLogic.com, uh, we have a free offering. Uh, you know, hop on over. Uh, you know, kick the tires. Uh, I am pretty sure you'll love the solution enough to to start paying us some money. But uh, you definitely <laughs> do. I need a credit card to get started? No, you don't. Oh, really? Awesome. Well, that I, I mean, that there's like no barrier then. So if you, I, I think if you're you're thinking about it. Uh, um, go ahead and give it a try. I have time for one question, um, and this one is, do you have any best practices around instrumenting applications running in AWS? Is there like a, a white paper I can download, or you know, like where would I go for uh, kind of how to build my business? Uh, it's, a, it's a great question, and you know, I'm, I'm sure Dave has uh, lots of experience out here too. Uh, you know, I, I do want to make a, a um, a brief plug for a white paper that Sumo Logic produced recently, uh, and you know, as I mentioned before, you know, we have over 1,200 customers, and I would say a majority of them are running on AWS today. So we have lots of insights in terms of you know how do customers actually uh, build applications on AWS? Uh, you know, what are the web service uh, servers that they use within AWS? What databases do they use? Uh, you know, do people use Docker? How many people use Lambda? So. If you move, if you go to sumologic.com, uh, we have what we call as the state of modern app uh, on AWS report. Uh, you know, feel free to download the report. It's uh, you don't even have to register for it anymore. Uh, so, but it gives you lots of insights in terms of how do you think about architecting a a modern application today, especially a modern application on AWS. How have your peers done it? Uh, what have they learned from the from from putting together applications of this kind? So. I would highly encourage you guys to to take a look at that report. Uh, you know, we learned a lot from it. I'm sure you guys will too. Yeah, I checked it out too, and it was really interesting. You know, I, I think you know when uh, in in my old role, you know, I was always curious what everybody else was doing, right? You know, the what are kind of the modern patterns uh, that people are using, and this white paper has a ton of um, uh, great data in it. So go check it out. Um, you know, if you're interested, go check out the free trial. Like I said, uh, you don't even need to submit a credit card. So, like, very low barrier. And thank you so much today, everyone. Thanks to our, our speakers, Dave, Kalyan, uh, our organizers, and, of course, you, the audience. Have a great rest of your day.